Right then, if you watched last week's video, you'll see that I fed my pumpkins with some grow more granules and a couple of handfuls of compost. It's amazing what results you can get. Well, as you can see, I'm not actually up at the allotment. I'm in a fellow YouTuber's garden, Dave Tantley, who's one of my subscribers, and he invited me along uh, to his back garden just to check out his monster pumpkins. There's a real big one growing in the middle there. Uh, I don't know how big it is, but it looks pretty beefy. If we come around here, we'll see that we've got smaller ones coming on. A couple there. So yeah, that's a decent crop. Thumbs up to big pumpkins. Right, let's get to the allotment. We had a storm last night hit the UK. Wind speeds of up to 65 miles an hour. So I'm going up to the plot just to see if it's caused any damage. Well, I don't think I've got off scot-free. I can see a bit of damage already on one of the sheds. Let me take you down there. As you can see, this pane of glass has been blown out. There's the other one. And that, I'm guessing, is in the shed. Let's go and have a look. Well, that's all that's left of that pane of glass. As you can probably tell, it's still a pretty blustery day up here at the plot. I'm just taking shelter from the wind by standing next to a shed. Um, well, as you can guess, I'm gonna to have to get that pane of glass replaced. I'll put it on my to-do list for my winter projects in the next couple of months. Um, but at the moment, I'm still pretty pleased with the way things are going up at the plot. Apart from that, um, let me take you out there and show you um, my sweet corn. I think my sweet corn are ready for picking. And you know why they're ready for picking? Because the rabbits have eaten them. Look at that one there. And that one there. Stripped. Thank you very much, Mr. Bunny. And now it's decided to rain. Well, let's see what we've got. Got that one. This one, and that one. Now it may not be rabbits, it may be mice. I don't know, but as I do have rabbits on the plot, I'm just laying all the blame on those furry blighters. Anyhow, let's get rid of those for a second. I've picked two <coughs> that haven't been touched by rabbits stroke mice. Do you know what, I don't know whether they're ready but I just don't want to leave them up here for those critters so I'm just gonna do a peel and reveal just to see if this one was ready or not. If it is it's a bonus, if it's not well hey 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 that's not bad An earwig has just come out of it, over there. But look at those. I've got some wood lice that are uh, in here. I don't think that's too bad, is it? Anyway. I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah. Yep. That'll do me. 
Uh, let me try this other one. Oh, wrong end. Little intelligence test that I failed there. Come on, sweet corn. I don't, I've got a feeling this is not going to be as good. Feel smaller. Where are we? Although, that doesn't look too bad. What do you think? The rain's gone. I've got two decent sweet corn. Um, what I'm going to do now is pull a parsnip just to see how they're getting on. Right, you may or may not be able to see this small one. I can see the shoulders already on it. Let's have a look at that. Where are we? Look at that. All top and no bottom. Well, that was a fail. Also, look at here, here we go. Rogue potato. This is supposed to be parsnips and I've just pulled a potato. Anyhow, let me get stuck into this one here. I can see that looks good, actually. Don't know if you can see that. I think you can, you can make out the tops of that snip. Let me put the camera in a better, better angle. Right, let's have a go. Let's unearth this one here. Here we go. There we go. Now the technique I've been reliably informed for pulling a parsnip is push, twist and pull. So push, twist, pull. Push, twist, pull. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. I started off with that small one. Then I pulled a potato. Then uh, I had that one. That's a pretty decent size for me. Then that one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then finally this one. That's not a bad size. That still needs fattening up, and so does that. I reckon they'll be ready in a month or two's time. I mean, I can definitely take that one now. Well, I can take all three and get a meal from them. Some people put them in the uh, freezer to try and sweeten them up. I don't bother. They taste pretty sweet to me, as is. Anyhow, thumbs up, parsnips. Let me just quickly show you the row of broad beans that I've decided to try and overwinter. They've picked up, they're looking perky, although, like I said last week, I think they're too far advanced. Um, you don't norm normally plant your broad bean seeds until, I'd say, mid to late October, if you're going to try and overwinter them. And we're only in like the, what is it, second week of September, and these are romping away. Anyhow, those are the broad beans. Bring you over to the peas. I've got some fairly decent pods on here now. What I'm thinking is, I'm not going to eat these. I'm going to pick them and use the seed 
for next year's sowing. So, yep. I reckon these will do Mr. Rabbit next year. Okay, and finally, my pride and joys, the pumpkins. Definitely putting on weight now. That's the smaller one. And the bigger one is here. If I can just keep these two going, they might be ready at the end of October when it's time to carve them up. Now then, before I do call it a day, let me just show you how I'm getting on with the grapes. There you go. It's a decent bunch. I've not really bothered with them this year like I did last year. I've just let them do their thing. Last year I made an effort to cut back a lot of the vine just so that the plant would pump a lot of its energy into creating those grapes. Let's have a look if there's any around here. I don't know. Bunches in there that are partially ripe. Decent bunch in there. There we go. Anyhow, like I said, I've just left them alone this year. Right, that's it for this episode. Thank you for joining me if you have. It's been a really blustery day. I've not enjoyed it. Although I've enjoyed the sweet corn and the parsnips. Anyhow, thank you for joining me if you have. Please hit that like button, share, subscribe, but most importantly, please do comment down below because I do love reading your comments. And until next week's episode, bye for now.